The James Webb Space Telescope is shaping up to be one of the most significant breakthroughs for humankind regarding space observation. Being far more powerful than all other space telescopes ever launched by humans, the scientific community has high hopes. It will enable them to study very distant objects in space, as they have never been able to. One of the objects the JWST will study is Proxima b, to see whether artificial lights are coming from the planet. Yes, you heard right. Scientists want to know if the lights coming from Proxima b are due to aliens. So, what will the JWST see when it focuses on the exoplanet? And how does it affect you? Join us as we dive into the James Webb Artificial Lights Discovery on Proxima b that changes everything. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a terrifying discovery made by James Webb Telescope regarding the artificial lights on Proxima b. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Should we believe in the existence of aliens? Since the creation of mankind, this has been one of the greatest mysteries. Humans have long questioned the existence of alien life. Where do they live, if they exist at all? What would they look like? Are they attempting to communicate with us in the same way that we are attempting to communicate with them? These are some of the questions that constantly strike our minds. Some people in the world believe that life can only exist on Earth and argue that aliens really wouldn't exist. But we space enthusiasts are simply waiting for the day when humanity will be able to decipher the first alien signal, or the day when a space agency will publicly recognize the existence of aliens. Scientists are spending billions and billions of dollars to answer these questions. Luck hasn't been on our side, despite lots of attempts and research. But everything is about to change, thanks to the newest space observatory. The riddle of the unidentified artificial lights on Proxima b may finally be solved by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, an engineering marvel and an exhibition work of craftsmanship, is about to change everything. What will James Webb see when it focuses on the exoplanet? How will our perception of the universe alter as a result of this discovery? Watch the video with bated breath, because things are about to become serious. NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope may be able to detect evidence of artificial light on the nearby exoplanet Proxima b, astronomers predict. From space, the most obvious sign somebody lives on Earth is the glow from the night side of our planet. Our cities emit light that's shed into the cosmos. Problem is that our current generation of telescopes are not powerful enough to see lights on distant worlds that several researchers are testing the capabilities of the next generation of telescopes already on the drawing board. The finding? Yes, if advanced enough or glowy enough, we would be able to see if another civilization has the lights on at Proxima Centauri. Adding to this, Proxima b has a permanent day side and a permanent night side. So if the event Proxima b is already inhabited by a technological civilization, its day side may be coated with photovoltaic cells to generate electricity that would illuminate and warm the night side, which is otherwise too cold and dark for comfortable life. The study by a team including controversial Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb suggests that the optical telescope can be configured to spot evidence of LED light on the planet Proxima b, orbiting Proxima Centauri 4.2 light years from the Earth. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 and is thought to be a rocky, terrestrial planet slightly larger than the Earth that some scientists predict could contain liquid water. It orbits very close to its small red dwarf star, so is likely to be tidally locked with a permanent night side, and Loeb suggests a civilization may deploy powerful mirrors or require very bright LED-style lights to illuminate their cities. They suggest that using the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope and looking for the telltale signs of LED light waves in the light from the planet and its host star, they will be able to detect this artificial light if it exists. Professor Loeb has spent more than a decade predicting the existence of aliens and suggesting ways they may be discovered. He is involved in the Breakthrough Starshot project to send laser-boosted light sails on a trip 
to Proxima Centauri at high speeds, reaching the star in decades. The astronomer also wrote a paper claiming the interstellar asteroid Aumuamua was humanity's first contact with an artifact of extraterrestrial intelligence. He is now turning his attention to Proxima b, which for many alien hunters is a prime candidate for the hunt for signs of intelligent alien life outside the solar system. The planet is 1.27 times the size of Earth, sits within the habitable zone of its star and so may have liquid water on the surface, and is just 4.2 light years away, which in interstellar terms, that is practically on our doorstep. However, as the star is relatively small, this habitable zone is close to the star, meaning the planet is tidally locked, with one side always facing the star. There is also speculation that it is very unlikely life could develop on the day side due to a constant stream of intense radiation from its host star. According to Proxima b, orbiting just 4.5 million miles out, or about a tenth of the distance Mercury is from the Sun, at its closest point. Moreover, radio signals have already been detected from the area around Proxima b. However, radio astronomers believe this was likely just interference from natural sources. It is the tidal locking that prompted Professor Loeb to consider the possibility that LED lights may be detectable from Earth with the powerful James Webb Telescope. Already in space, the James Webb Space Telescope will have a wider spectrum view than its predecessor Hubble and operate further out from the Earth, in a solar orbit 930,000 miles from the Earth. In addition, the team investigated whether artificial lights could be detected on the dark side of Proxima b by computing light curves from the planet and its host star. The two different scenarios we consider are artificial illumination with the same spectrum as commonly used LEDs on Earth, and a narrower spectrum, which leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth, they said. We find that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will be able to detect LED-type artificial lights making up 5% of stellar power. Our predictions require optimal performance from the near-infrared spectrograph, near-spec instrument, and even, if not possible with JWST, future observatories like Louvoir might be able to detect this artificial illumination, they explained. If you are wondering what Louvoir is, it is the Large UV Optical IR Surveyor concept design for a major new multi-wavelength space observatory being considered by NASA. So, if James Webb is able to detect the narrow band light that is reminiscent of LED bulbs, it will be because it will be able to characterize the atmosphere of the planet. Doing so will allow researchers to use instruments of the observatory to detect how much energy transport occurs on the planet and then perform calculations of light curves to determine whether they can match those of an LED light source. To come to the conclusion that it may be able to detect artificial light, Loeb and colleagues will use the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. This tool allows astronomers to predict what can be detected in any given time period based on predefined settings of the space observatory. It allowed them to determine likelihood of detecting different flux values and detecting those with a wavelength that matches artificial light levels that should be expected from a civilization living in permanent darkness. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.